A diverging lens is thick at the edges and thin at the middle. This one that I'm going to use is curved on both sides, curved inwards on both sides, so it's often called a concave lens. However, many lenses are odd shapes. Typically, spectacle lenses curve outwards on one side and inwards on the other. So it's best to describe lenses by what they do. This lens is called a diverging lens, and I'll show you why. Red light from a laser shone at the lens. At each edge is diverged outwards. At the centre, it passes straight through. Showing this a bit more carefully in darker conditions. Here's the light passing straight through the centre. It's not bent or diverged at all. But light which hits the edges is spread outwards. That's why it's called a diverging lens. Diverging means to spread apart, to push apart. Diverging lenses have rather fewer uses, or at least direct uses, than converging lenses. When we look at something with a diverging lens, the image seems smaller. When we look through it, we have a wider field of view. I'll try and show you this using a ray diagram and at the same time try and show you how ray diagrams are drawn. If we start with the principal axis, that's the line that goes right through the center of the lens, perpendicular to the lens. I'm drawing the lens simply as a straight line, but indicating that it's a diverging lens by putting little markers on the edge, so showing that it's thick at the edge and thinner as you go towards the centre. Now we need to draw in a focal point. The focal point is not where the light is brought together, but it is where the light seems to be spread out from, as I'll just show you in a moment. I'm drawing in red here three rays of light parallel to the principal axis as if they are coming from a distant object and very much like shown in the demonstrations a few moments ago. These rays of light at the edges are spread out and they're spread out as if they are coming from the focal point behind the lens. So it is really a virtual focal point. They seem to be coming from there but they're not really. So the light is spreading out and seems to be coming from this point. Let's start again with a new diagram. I've drawn the lens and the focal points in place and this time drawing an object in. Not so far from the lens but well beyond the focal length. So from the top of the object any ray of light par running parallel to the principal axis will be diverged outwards. So the light would spread in all directions but I'm choosing on this particular ray running parallel to the principal axis. That will be spread out as if it's coming from the focal point. So it seems to be coming from there. Remember the focal point is a virtual focal point. Another ray of light I can track is one that goes from the top of the object through the center of the lens because any ray of light passing through the center of the lens will not be diverged or changed in path because the sides of the lens are almost parallel at that point. So drawing in this very large eye, which is looking at the light, that light seems to be coming from back where the rays come from. And since they cross there, that is where the image seems to be. It is a virtual image, smaller, but upright. A final third ray diagram, this case with an object closer to the lens, well within the focal length. So, using the same technique, one ray of light from the top of the object, perpendicular to the lens, is diverged outwards as if it is coming from the focal point. A ray of light from the top of the object will also go through the centre of the lens without being deviated. When we draw an eye in, as if the light is coming into the eye, it seems to be spreading out from the point where the two rays cross. So the image 
seems to be here, drawing it in a virtual image, dotted line in blue. That is the image, smaller and upright. Here's a couple of applications which help to illustrate how the lens works and what it does. First is a door viewer, which is a diverging lens in a little tube, which is drilled into a door. You can look through the door viewer and outside you see a wide field of view. Rather more important than that is the use of a diverging lens in correcting short-sightedness. Here's a simple diagram of a perfect eye where the light from a distant object is focused by the lens within the eye onto the retina at the back. But unfortunately many people's eyes are not perfect, including mine, and like many I am short-sighted. In this case either the lens is too strong or the eyeball is too long and the light is focused before it reaches the retina resulting in a rather blurry view of the world. To help correct that, we use a diverging lens. This spreads the light out before it enters the eye, and so balances out the problem so that the light is again focused on the retina. That is exactly what these spectacles of mine do. Thank you for watching.